Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this baking video. Okay, for this one, we're gonna start with the design of the topper. And for that, we're gonna be using baking caps. And I'm using the Wilton brand for this one. I did a review on that one. And my cookie cutter. And this is the size of my cookie cutter. You want to just make sure that the cookie cutter that you're using is smaller than your baking cup. And then I'm just going to take a piece of paper and you know, pencil or pen and just mark that. I'm just going to start working on the rainbow. For that, I'm going to part my uh, circle in just like, not even half, but more to one side than the other. And then I'm just going to mark the lines. Remember that there are six colors, so just keep that in mind. I went back and forth, I made a few mistakes because it's hard to just get the lines straight, but just, you know, as long as they are six and they just look like a rainbow. Then once I have done that, I'm just going to place this piece of paper under a piece of parchment paper. And then to avoid my piece of paper from moving, I'm just going to add some tape. And then I'm just going to place my template underneath it. Now for the fun part, I'm going to be using, realizing I do have the recipe on this one. And I colored it with the six colors of rainbow. And I'm going to be working with my tipless piping bags. I made a review on them, but use them all the time. I'm obsessed with this ones. I just love them. You can use a Ziploc bag as well. You just want to make a small hole on your back. And then I'm going to be using my needle tool just to arrange the whole thing. I do have a DIY for that as well. And then I'm just going to jump to not the next color but the other one because I want my first colors to cross just before I apply the ones in the middle if that makes any sense I just don't want my colors to be bleeding or just you know blending one to the next one and in here I'm just going to be doing the same thing but the opposite colors like the ones that I didn't use before I'm just going to be doing them in here once that's crossed I'm just going to go and start with the other like the leftover colors and that I didn't do before don't add too much because then the colors that you added before are going to be lost in there if that makes any sense and then I'm just going to arrange the whole thing before that crusts and I'm just going to let this uh, dry and this is how I move my template by the way so once that's crossed and done, I'm going to peel them really, really careful. And I would suggest you to make more toppers just in case some of them break. Say if you need 12 cupcakes, make 15 rainbows just in case some of them break. Once I have done that, because I want my rainbows to be standing up, I'm just going to add some royal icing on top of my wax paper. And then I'm just going to add enough just to make the clouds. And I'm just going to place my frame on top. And I'm going to be using some plates to just lay my uh, rainbows in there so they don't fall down again to the back, if that makes any sense. This is just as my white realizing is, you know, drying. This so my rainbow is standing up. And I'm just going to leave this overnight. And once they are dry, I'm just going to peel them off again pretty gently because they do tend to break. And I'm just going to um, place them so I can move on to the next step, which is decorating my cupcakes. And for that, I'm going to be using my cupcake recipe, which I do have the recipe. Uh, it's on the cards. If you want to check it out, it's Jemmy. And then I'm going to be using my buttercream frosting recipe. It's pretty simple, just two ingredients, and it's Jemmy as well. It's on the cards. And I just colored my frosting in blue. Seems a bit more uh, turquoise in here, but it's uh, blue, like sky blue. Then I'm going to add some color sprinkles for the final touches. And this is the ones that I use. And finally, my rainbow goes on the top in there. Just arrange it as you want it to look. I ended up adding a lot more sprinkles than what you see here. And yeah, this is the final result. I just wanted to share this idea. I love the whole concept of it. I'm glad I went for the standing up rainbow. Remember, you can use fondant instead of realizing. It's pretty much up to you. And kind of like a personal preference, we do prefer the taste of realizing over fondant, but it's pretty much up to you. And it's really fun to work with uh, realizing. So yeah, I hope you like it. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It helps a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff. I have a lot of more cupcakes coming up. Don't forget to share this one. Let me know if you like it thank you so much for your time watching and i'll take the letter bye guys